this episode i pitch for investment from a startup accelerator so what is a startup accelerator so essentially a startup accelerator is an organization that supports entrepreneurs and startup companies they literally help accelerate the growth of your business they do that by providing resources like uh, training and development so coaching they provide you with a co-working space to work from and you and your team can work from um they provide you with lawyers um accountants and anybody really to facilitate the acceleration of your uh, company and so in this episode you get to watch me pitching for one of these accelerators hello everybody um, my name is Simon and I'm the founder of Trend the People so just to give you a quick story about the background um how many of you have been to Cardiff or lived in Cardiff at all Right, okay. So between 2013 and 2014, I lived in Cardiff as a postgraduate student, and um, I needed to get my hair cut and my beard cut. But there was one black barber shop that was 45 minutes away from where I live, so the whole experience would actually take me about two and a half hours going to and from and waiting, and it was a massive hassle for a postgraduate student. It was quite busy. So one day I met another black guy on the street. You know, he had one of those sleek box heads and stuff. And I stopped him and said, "Hey, dude, listen. Um, you know, I'm not trying to hit on you or anything, but you look really sleek. Where did you get your hair done?" And he was like, "You know what? I know this guy. Let me give you his number. Ring him. He'll actually show up to your place." So when I actually got back to my place, I rang the guy, and to my surprise, he only lived a couple of streets down the road. So in about seven minutes, he was knocking on my door. Um, in about 25 minutes of ringing him, he basically showed up and sorted me out. And so I realized, you know, it was a massive opportunity. So I was asking him, you know, where do you get clients? He was like, oh, you know, word of mouth, friends and family. And I was like, you know, there's a really good opportunity here. So when I finished, um, you know, my postgrad program, I then decided, you know what? Let me try and get this thing out. And so yeah, so I came up with this idea. So what problems are we solving? So for freelancers, it's incredibly hard to find clients um, that you know that need their services. And you know, for uh, clients as well that are really busy, if you work in the city, you don't have time to go all the way to the high street. The people that are really busy, they need to find someone reliable that has got the skill sets. And what we've noticed um, as well is that there's lots of upcoming brands, so beauty and hair brands, and you know, and, and uh, designers that make their stuff, and they need to figure out a way of targeting a specific audience. Um, so in 2013, I became vegan as well. And I lost a lot of weight, and I had all these really nice suits. And I met this, uh, I met this old gentleman at my um, at my church that I go to, and he's a retired tailor. So he said, "You know, just bring everything you've got, and I help like tailor it." And initially, what I decided to do to validate the idea was I set up a landing page, trendypeople.com, and I thought to myself, "If I get 200 people that do hair, then I'll perhaps look into it." I've so far got a list of up to 3,000 people that do everything. So I quickly discovered there's this huge demand. Um, people that do, you know, uh, dressmakers, tailors, seamstresses, that sort of thing. Um, alterations, and then of course the hair and nails and makeup. Because what I discovered is these people they do more than just one thing as well. Um, so this is the problems we're trying to solve. And of course, in terms of the solutions we have today, you know, you've got search engines, you've got the classifieds. Social media, and of course, the on demand seems to be quite the trend right now. Um, so, in a nutshell, trendy people is essentially um, like the Upwork slash Uber for fashion and beauty services. So the idea is that it allows you to find, you know, tailors, dressmakers, fashion stylists, fashion shoppers, people that do alterations, and of course, the hair, nails, and makeup. Um, and essentially, that's uh, that's what. That's what it is. So, these are some of the screenshots. We are about 90% done through the development process, and we hope to launch in the next three to four weeks um, in a really limited location. So, um, I guess the key thing really is, you know, what makes us different because there's other players in the market that have come onto the scene. What we discovered by speaking to obviously a lot of these people, 3,000 of these people, is that 
there's a risk element involved. Um, just because somebody's next door it doesn't mean they know what to do with their hair. We're all really low to our hair starters. So we have come up with an algorithm, an AI algorithm that allows you to basically find somebody that does exactly the same hairstyle, for example. So the, the, whole, the whole idea is you can take a photo of yourself and you can have, or you can put a photo of a celebrity and we'll basically find somebody that's exactly the same or as close as possible to that. And we call that the trendy recommendation system. We start off with hair and body paint, um, like uh, you know, tattoos and henna, and eventually we kind of walk out with through other services. So the whole idea is we'll be able to take a photo and this thing will kind of bring up all the services and the service providers that will automatically involved with that. So yeah, the trendy recommendation system, an AI card thing. We also have the ability to switch profiles from being a freelancer to a client if you have some skills. And obviously we have a trendy rating system. Uh, so this is the user flow for clients, uh, freelancers. Um, and I think um, in, in terms of our, our profiles, so this, this is the sort of profiles we see. So. Um, we, again, just like uh, the team before, we have partnered with, we're partnered with a lot of uh, fashion and beauty colleges. I was recently invited to speak at London College of Fashion. Um, and again, this, this, is, this is the sort of uh, profile we tend to see in terms of uh, uh, the, the targets we're going for. Um, and again, if you look at this sort of thing, you've got social media platforms where the majority of these people are, like Instagram, especially, there's loads of them in there. And of course, the search engines, this classifies, you notice this, this on demand thing. So we're sort of kind of bringing these elements together into one. So we're like, we're like a magic of all those. Um, I mean, we're kind of slightly running behind this, but we hope to release something in Feb and then uh, gradually begin to. So this is a logistics challenge as much as, much as this um, you know, tech, tech challenge. So essentially, we, we want to launch in two neighborhoods. In two areas before we kind of landed, before we kind of scale it out. Because what you don't want is somebody in North London requesting for somebody and there's nobody there. So we sort of want to focus on one specific area and kind of grow that, kind of branch out that. Um, and so by around perhaps June time, that is when we shall really sort of really begin that massive push. Um, yeah, so um, that's it really. Um, thank you so much for taking your time to this page. So, what you can see in that episode is that my energy is off. I don't sound enthusiastic. I don't sound excited. I just don't sound like I really believe in what I'm pitching. And here's the problem. The reason for that is because that week, I'd been to like three or four other pitching events where I'd pitched lots of times and it was all rejections and I was completely exhausted by the end of the week. And it just goes to show as an entrepreneur on this entrepreneurial journey, it's really difficult. And you know, you need to be your own motivation. You need to be your own support. You need to motivate yourself. And it's really hard to do that because you're doing most of these things on your own. You know, I'm doing most of this on my own. So as I always like to say, you know, in the startup world, um, CEO actually stands for chief everything officer. I'm the chief working officer. I'm the chief doing officer, chief marketing, chief finance, chief risk. So I literally have to sound like a politician. Every time I'm pitching something, I have to sound excited. But it's hard. It's hard when you're getting rejected, when you're getting no's from everywhere. And so the next episode, next week, I show you how I deal with the stress, how I deal with the rejection, and how I keep myself constantly motivated to keep myself going. Because it's all about being persistent, insistent, and consistent and it's really hard to do that so next week's episode you get to see that and boom see you soon